And now, as the continent marks Africa Postal Day, there are several challenges with postal services and infrastructure across the continent. Here in Nigeria, the Nigerian Postal Service, or NIPOST, is facing huge competition from the private sector, despite holding a large monopoly on stamps. With the rise in digital and e-commerce services, experts say NIPOST could become irrelevant in a few years. It has nearly lost the logistics and delivery market, while it also continues to face challenges in terms of stamp duties collection. To redeem its battered image, analysts say it must tackle challenges such as inefficient management structure, low level of investments, and obsolete infrastructure and facilities. Well, to look at these myriads of issues and ways to revamp NIPOST, I have in the studio with me the Postmaster General of the Federation and CEO of the Nigerian Postal Service, Dr. Ismail Adebayo Adewusi. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you and we we'll want to start with uh, this uh, Africa Postal Day. What does that really mean? I mean, a lot of Nigerians and even Africans uh, who uh, do their businesses mostly online now will tell you that they are unaware about... Uh, what this day is all. Well, thank you very much. Today, January 18, 2022, marks the 42nd anniversary of the creation of Pan-African Postal Union. That is PAPU, uh, simply put. And what does it do? This organization, this international organization, which is Pan-Africa in nature, was created to cement relationship among postal administrations in Africa. And so every member um, of African Union is also a member of the PAPU, that's the Pan-African Postal Union. And we have a lot of symbiotic relationship that cuts across national boundaries and frontiers. All the countries in Africa relate to one another in exchanges of uh, letters, of, po of uh, you know, parcels, and, and the rest. So there is a, a, a common ground that we meet to regulate the activities among ourselves and by so doing to ensure that uh, 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 each country remains relevant uh, beyond uh, Africa. Because uh, we have with the introduction of uh, digital services, a yes. lot of people want to wonder if indeed there's still a need for the existence of uh, postal uh, organizations um, like yours. Unfortunately. I um, mean, a lot of Nigerians, when you interview them, they'll tell you that they don't even know NIPOS well, exists um, um, and um, they want it scrapped. Yes, unfortunately, uh, Naples as uh, a critical infrastructure cannot be scrapped. And I'll tell you why. Naples belongs to the Universal Postal Union, an organization of 192 member nations, of so United Nations. And that is the, the global apex that regulates uh, postal administrations across the world, both official, private, and the rest. And so every nation, that is sending mails, parcels, cargo to Nigeria, it must come direct to our international mail processing, mail processing center in Lagos. Including that which is sent to some foreign-based organizations that handle Ex postal Ex services. Because exactly. we even see that even the Nigerian government makes use of those foreign postal agencies. The, the I don't want to call their names, no, no, no. rather the, than The I truth post. is that most of those mails come first to our doorstep in Lagos. Because the truth is that we need to screen most of these mails. We need to ensure that there are no contraband, there are no arms, there are no you know, illegal uh, entry of merchandises and the rest into Nigeria. So we, we play a very critical role as a public postal administration, just like it happens in the rest of 191 uh, member countries of uh, Universal Postal Union. And so what, what's, what, what is happening in Nigeria is that for many years, uh, the postal uh, sector has been abandoned uh, because of various reasons. Was it abandoned, or official actually uh, officials ran it aground? Well, I wouldn't say. They, I wouldn't say. Of inefficiency I don't know. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was as a result of uh, officials not doing what they are supposed to do. For example, for about 28 years and still running, Naples is not in the national budget of Nigeria, so which means that Naples has been trying to reinvent itself for this number of years using but it remains its limited its collections to the federal post. The truth if it is does that, then why is it not on the national the, budget? The truth is that NIPOS is running its operation using its IGR 
for its capital, for its recurrent, for its overhead. Government is still paying the salaries of our staff. And the reason for that <coughs> is that NAPOS also plays what we call universal service obligation, which is, of course, imposed by the United Nations uh, through the Universal Postal Union. It, if everybody has to pay the fair value of a parcel, then it will become inaccessible to millions of people. So what we have is a situation where NIPOS, even in our current situation, we still subsidize the movement of males. Very interesting. In, and in and one would want to wonder, what's the percentage of Nigerians that actually still use your services? The truth is that when you're talking about letters, letters are actually dwindled. And it's a general problem because of the disruptive nature of the technology, internet, and the rest. And the refusal people, of NIPOS to adopt those people, technologies. But we're already adopting those technologies. And I'll come to that. In the last two years, when I assumed office as Postmaster General, we have worked very hard to embrace technology, because you cannot survive in these age and times except to embrace technology in various areas of our operation. For example, you send a letter through uh, our express mail service, you can track that letter from one point to the, to, to, to the other. You can only do that through the adoption of technology, track and trace. And we have so many uh, 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 other things that are in place now to make NIPOS uh, 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 relevant in terms of technology. Especially, let me also say this. NIPOS belongs to the Digital Economy Ministry. The Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy, uh, led by our indefatigable, indefatigable minister, uh, Professor Issa Ali Ibrahim Pantami, is doing so much to ensure that the digital space is fully loaded with, the, with uh, embracing uh, technology in various areas. Yeah, well, where a lot of Nigerians will um, tell you that they are yet to feel that. I mean, the so-called unbundling of uh, NIPOS that Nigerians have been awaiting let, let me tell in the past you, you six to seven you years hasn't mention, happened. You made mention of unbundling. Let me tell you that the unbundling has actually taken a, 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 a faster pace in the last two years through the work of our minister. And I can tell you that uh, only last December, the board of the new companies have been inaugurated. The management is now in place. And in this quarter, the companies will begin operation. So it's just... Uh, I what mean, are those companies that the, are coming the, out of the, 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 uh, 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 the first company is the property uh, development company. And then we also, that's NIPOS subsidiary. Another one is the NIPOS logistics and transport company. The first company, the, 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 the property company, is expected to leverage to harness all our landed assets across Nigeria and make them work. We sweat them and make them work. Because in this age of dwindling resources at the center, you need to make use of what you have. Yeah, and I'm to sorry to cut, short, yes. cut you short there. One of the plans was actually to use some of these properties to convert them to a postal bank because NIPOS has resources almost in every part yes. of the country. Yes, yes. Should Nigerians still await that postal bank? Of course, bank? the postal bank is still is actually the third company that is expected to, to kickstart this year. Two companies have been formed. That's the logistic company and the, tra and the uh, property company. The postal bank is the third leg. And we are, that is expected because you we still need a license from the central bank to actualize uh, the postal bank uh, because that's the regulator for financial services. In the but one point that needs to be made very clear is that NIPOS is, on, is working, is operating on that difficult terrain. For example, NIPOS has presence in all the 774 local government of Nigeria. In most of these locations that are further in the, you know, in the remotest part of Nigeria, we are operating there. And so the logistic of, you know, uh, And you still get a lot of Nigerians patronizing yes, you? of course. Of course. People still send letters from Lagos to Maiduguri, despite, you know... But there the are also accusations that some of your staff tamper with some of these mills. You see, and as a result of that, you've lost your believability the, the and truth, credibility. The truth is that there is no system that is foolproof. Wherever we have seen such played out, we have sanctioned. It has led even to the dismissal of such early uh, uh, members of our staff. But I can tell you that today things are changing, and they are changing very fast. How are you restoring that believability in NIPOS? So I, that a lot of uh, Nigerians will make use of your services. Well, I'm using this moment uh, to uh, plead to my people, my countrymen, to see NIPOS as a very critical infrastructure for Nigeria. At the moment, we are operating 
uh, uh, below market rate. Most of our prices are subsidized and we deliver. Most Nigerians still send most of their uh, uh, items, particularly full stops and cargo, are brought through Nine Post because most of the, the uh, private sector players, you know, I don't want to mention them, they would not handle them. But when mails get lost in transit, there what is happens? no way a mail will get lost and it will not be recovered. I can tell you that if there's anybody who has sent any mail and it finally got lost, then such a person can, 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 can come up. How about your cargo operations? Tell us more about well, that. Well, the thing about cargo is that, interestingly, that is where the world is moving into. Because with the, de the declining volume of mails, a lot of emphasis is now shifted to cargo. And I can tell you that in this particular year, we are going to play a more active role in cargo. Because uh, we have recently uh, acquired through our partners about 27 trucks that will be deployed across Nigeria uh, to meet with the, uh, uh, the yearning aspiration of our people to move cargo across the length and breadth of now, Nigeria. Now, <laughs> let's talk yeah, about how you've market. lost this market of both cargo and delivery services to, I mean, private companies here yeah. and there yeah. until you had to come back to bring out policies of registering some of these delivery services. Some, uh, I mean, a lot of Nigerians who practice that, who do business there, started shouting that the rates were just too high and mm. it was a way of forcing people back to night post. <laughs> well, the, tr the truth is that NIPOS under the law is mandated to regulate all the operators of foreign services in Nigeria. So you are a service and provider so and regulator at are, the same we, time? We, we provide and we regulate. But under the, uh, the, the new law, which is now waiting for the uh, assent of uh, Mr. President, we now have uh, a regulatory function residing in the uh, Korea and, uh, 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 Regulatory Commission, you know, post uh, a Korea Regulatory Commission, so that we will no longer be regulator, we will remain operator. And the whole idea is to sanitize the aspect of regulation because, you know, a lot of people are operating illegally. And that's why we continue uh, to monitor. Since you, know, you introduced those reforms, those high increase in, um, you know, payments uh, for these delivery companies, have you seen any changes? Have you sanitized the sector? We, it's a continuous process. We have continuously monitored uh, uh, the, 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 our services and the people operating in those sectors. And I can tell you, we've done clam down in several parts of Nigeria, in Lagos, in Abuja, in Benin, where we have discovered people who just buy motorcycles and put them on the street and start collecting items. And they've managed to swindle people who are not uh, unsuspectingly, they, they swindle people, they carry illegal arms, they carry all manners of illegal... Including delivering drugs exactly. and all that. And, 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 and that's why we are also uh, collaborating with NDLA. Because now all our registered uh, members who are registered with uh, NIPOS, who have licenses issued by NIPOS, the uh, NDLA has their list. Okay. We, we work together closely, even with TFCC. All right. We'll just yes. have to hold on there now and go on a short break. And when we come back, we'll continue the conversation. You're still watching the Arise interview. Plenty more still ahead, including as we continue our chat with Nigeria's Postmaster General, Dr. Ismail Adebayo. Welcome back to the Arise interview. I'm Somna Sambo. With the emerging challenges facing postal services due to the rise in e-commerce and digital services, the Nigerian Postal Service is struggling to remain relevant, but the corporation says it's taking steps to reinvent itself. And I still have in the studio with me the Postmaster General of the Federation and Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian Postal Service, Dr. Ismail Adebayo Adewusi. Good to have you here. Thank you. And I still want to ask you that question about the calls by Nigerians for NIPOS to be scrapped. But you were telling me that it will affect government-to-government -government relations across the world if NIPOS is sacked because a, a lot of uh, mills that come in for government just have to pass through you. Uh, I remember when the former president of the U.S., uh, Barack Obama, was in power, there were lots of mills that were sent to him that had some, you know, either uh, gaseous substances or some you know, uh, things that would threaten him individually, mm -hmm. but the U.S. Secret Service would intercept the mail mm -hmm. 
or intercept the mail bomb and destroy it and all of yeah. that. Do we have a similar thing here if, for example, some very bad people are trying to target any of our presidents? Well, thank you very much. Um, I think it's important to understand that uh, Nigerian Postal Service is a member of the Universal Postal Union, uh, which belongs to about 192 member countries of the United Nations. And so, um, speaking about uh, scrapping of uh, Nigerian Postal Service is uh, not understanding the critical role of the posts uh, in national development and, um, and economy. Uh, the reality and the truth is that, just like you mentioned, um, in the case of the United States, we play similar service here. Government to government mails, go uh, private companies belonging to government, and embassies generally, you know, they, they, they pass all their mails through um, our platform. We have an international mail processing center in, uh, the, in the airport in Lagos, where we process all incoming mails into Nigeria where those mails are subjected to screening and uh, analysis and evaluation. And, and we have, one would and we want have, to wonder uh, if you and we have discovered And we have discovered so many things okay. in the course of this. We have discovered arms that are, uh, have been smuggled through the post. We have discovered the uh, currencies, you know, large volume of currencies that have been... We've discovered uh, even uh, military camouflage and uh, mili military uh, uh, equipment, hardwares that were smuggled in. All of these were discovered through the screening at, uh, at, at our International Mail Processing Center. And so, once we discover this, we pass it on uh, to the security agencies. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to inform you okay. that at the International Mail Processing Center, we have all agencies, security agencies there. We have the NDLA there, we have all of them. They are present there. So we, we work together collaboratively, the, cost, the Nigerian Custom Service and the rest of other security agencies. Now, now let's present. talk about your poorly motivated workforce. A lot yeah. of them have gone on strike over time. A lot of them are saying that the wages have just gone down in the face of the rising inflation. Mm. What needs to be done uh, in terms of legislation, in terms of uh, funding to improve the welfare of your workers? The, the truth is that today we operate a pure civil service structure because we belong to the federal government uh, civil service. And because of that, whatever affects other uh, civil servants in Nigeria affects our workforce. And that is the real issue here. So the Isn't way that forward, why Nigerians are asking for NIPOS to be privatized? Yeah, but unfortunately... <laughs> because critical, it, may, it may be good for you critical, and you earn higher critical wages. Critical infrastructure like, like NIPOS cannot be privatized. What we can do is what has just been done by, the, by our minister working together uh, on the directive of Mr. President that we should commercialize some of our activities. And that is what is being done now through the creation of the new... Uh, property company, the new logistic company, and of course uh, the bank is coming uh, very soon. So all of these are meant to provide a platform to commercialize our activities in such a manner that we can stand alone and get things done y using private sector model. So That's the idea. What are you doing as the Postmaster General to better the welfare of your own staff? Well, the truth of the matter is that our staff one, recently since I came in, We've have done a review of our uh, the conditions of service of our of our of our workers. Don't forget that we have about thirteen thousand workforce, and it's very huge. Isn't that overbloated? It's not overbloated because we are, like I told you, we are present in every nooks and cranny of Nigeria. There is no village. I don't know in your own village. Do you have a post office there? I mean, very well. I used to, <laughs> I used to use uh, the post office so much <laughs> when, when oh. I was young myself. Uh, uh, and so every up village, until two thousand and three, two thousand and four. Up till now, there is no village that does not have a, a fiscal presence of. And what we, are, what we are doing now, going forward, with some of the reform we are putting together, is the, to provide financial service where our banks can work as a bank. Our, our, our post, postal, postal facilities yeah. can work as well. You can work in there, you can pay money, you can collect money, you can transfer money. That is using various platforms that we have uh, uh, put together. And that's the problem yeah. that a lot of Nigerians have with NIPOS. It's always trying to play catch up. When these information and communication technologies were coming into place, including the POS and all of that, where were you? No, we are, we are, why, why is the adoption of technology no, very no, slow no. in NIPOS? It could be slow because. As I, like I told you, we operate a quasi uh, uh, civil service environment. That's the structure. 
And so, you, you, it, it's not as faster. It's not as fast as you expect in a private sector. A another but, opportunity. But even at that, okay. even at that, what we are doing now, even the catch-up that you mentioned, we, we are fully catch-up because what we have done now is in all our formation, we now use seamless uh, trans transaction through the POS. You cannot go to a post office now and you pay cash. It is, in fact, our minister was opposed to the idea of leakages through uh, cash payment in our various platform counters. And so, one, one golden opportunity that yes. was provided you was during the COVID-19 lockdown, where yes. a lot of Nigerians were not moving. In other countries, you could see their postal services doing deliveries and all of that. But we lost that golden opportunity. You know, and the private sector took but, that chance. And uh, now you have a lot of dispatch riders in Abuja and Lagos and I, all of I that. I will tell you why it was difficult for us to catch up during the COVID, we didn't have the infrastructures that we needed to, to move speedily. But even at that, we played a very big role in assisting government to move palliative materials across Nigeria. Yes, we did. We used our limited service uh, our platform to assist government to move uh, materials for, uh, for, for palliative across, uh, across the country. But the truth of the matter is that we are a going concern. There are so many challenges. We are meeting uh, uh, the challenges. We are facing it head on, and we are not. We are not. Uh, and one of those critical challenges I won't allow you to go without uh, asking or, or, uh, you about is the issue of stamp duties collection. What's the resolution of that issue now? Is my post still collecting stamp duties or not? The truth of the matter is that this issue is now subjudice because it's a matter before the courts. The FRS has taken my post to court. Uh, to challenge the propriety uh, of our participation in the stamp duty uh, exercise. And so, I will not be in a position to comment on that issue uh, on this uh, occasion. Yes, I will not be able Very to comment on it. Indeed. Yes. Uh, let's talk about your investments in, in ICTs as we try to round off this co conversation. Yeah. How do you foresee NIPOS in the next um, decade? Are you investing so much in ICTs? Do you think that it will withstand the competition from um, private investors? Well, because of our unique advantage, we have the reach, we have the numbers, we have the spread. Uh, I see NIPOS playing far bigger role than either through the case uh, going forward in the next five years. Because even in the last two years, we've done a lot of work. In the last two years, for example, we have just recently uh, launched our address verification solution, which enables us to locate people's addresses uh, using our, our, our solution. And that on its own has enabled uh, institutions, government and private sector to latch into this. And of course, you know, one of the our greatest challenges in Nigeria is that we don't have addresses. And so we have been able to tackle the address through uh, the address verification solution. Of course, the National Addressing Council, uh, I'm sure you are aware that the National Addressing Council headed by uh, the Vice President uh, as Chairman. I mean, even and when we had the former Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Naso Erufa, who is now a governor in Kaduna, say he tried to address those issues. He's actually the, a member the of the Capital National Address yes. Council, and Kaduna is doing so well now. Uh, in, in that, uh, in that uh, uh, area, right. yes. But just before we go, do we, uh, should we foresee a day where stamps will be given up by uh, private companies? Stamp? Yes, or it will continue to be a monopoly of Unfortunately, Nipos. stamps are quasi-money. And there are, there are standards. There is, there Very is, quickly. There is a standard for uh, issuance of stamp. Stamp must have certain features which private sector cannot handle. Okay. And this is actually one of the uh, conditions imposed by the Universal Postal Union. So, so it will continue to be a monopoly of NIPOS? It's everywhere in the world. That oh. is what it is. All right. Very yes. interesting. We must yes. thank you so much, uh, thank Dr. You. Ismail Adeusi, for joining us. Thank you very much. We've been much. speaking with Dr. Ismail Adeusi, who is the Postmaster General of the Federation.